This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today, we're gonna to be talking about hose whips. I get a lot of questions on our store, Paint Life Supply Co. What hose whip should I get for my sprayer and gun? So we're gonna be going over all the different sizes. What's the difference between the hose whips? and what one you should possibly get. So if you want your hose whip questions answered, stay tuned for this video. All right, now I've got multiple whips in front of me. I'm gonna be talking about um, the, the whips themselves and uh, what they're made of and, uh, and sizing to start off with. So I've got three foot whips, I've got five foot whips, I've got 25 foot whips, and I've got 50 foot uh, whips here. And we'll just, these are whip hoses right here, and these are gun whips. So they're, they're made, um, there's two different styles, two different uh, makes of these hoses. The, uh, the mustard colored hoses right here, this is a wire braided hose right here. The lime green hose right here, this is a cloth braided hose. A wire braided hose um, typically is a hose that can be grounded. So if you're using flammable liquids, then you can you definitely wanna be using a wire braided hose. You wanna uh, really, uh, if you're using any type of flammable liquids, read manufacturer's instructions and have a good understanding of how to ground your pump, how to ground your gun so you don't cause any um, explosion you know when it comes to spraying with an airless sprayer so we got wire braided hoses we've got cloth braided hoses now a wire braided hose is going to be a little bit more durable than a cloth braided hose but a wire braided hose can kink a lot easier than a cloth braided hose and when a wire braided hose gets at a kink in it that's typically a weak spot that's going to wear and eventually leak over time um, and so it, it's some of it is kind of just personal preference you know the style of hose the make of the hose you want whether it's wire braided or um, cloth braided so now let me talk about the the inside and the outside diameter what's um, kind of what what the importance is and why it even matters this hose the mustard colored hose right here we call this is an exit flex hose that's the style of hose it is it has a really small inside diameter the inside diameter of this hose is um, says right on the hose it's 3.2 millimeters and then the inside diameter of this hose right here the inside is a 3 16 inch diameter hose it's quite a bit bigger the outside diameter is bigger also and that just um, the outside diameter is going to make it less flexible it's really hard to run your know, really heavy materials through any type of whip but with that being said i typically am always spraying with an exit flex whip i've been spraying with a, an exit flex style whip for probably 20 some years now and there's never been a coating i've ever had a problem going through this style whip with this inside diameter now i run both of these on a multi multiple pumps and I've run interior paints, exterior paints, and even elastomeric coatings, and I've never had an issue with them. Um, the outside diameter of this is larger, so it doesn't make it as flexible as an exit flex whip, but it is extremely flexible. So you can see an exit flex whip is very, very soft, very nimble, and very flexible. This is closer to like the quarter inch style hoses that come you know with your sprayers when you buy them they're like they're 50 foot hoses is what is typical but this the outside plastic and the hose itself being smaller diameter is uh, significantly more flexible than a standard hose that comes with a sprayer so i'm going to talk a little bit about the makeup of the whip itself the whip itself this is a three foot whip we have two different sizes we got three foot and five foot and that's going to be really personal preference Reference, what you like better but a whip itself I came up with all the specifications and the standards of these whips that we sell at paint life supply co I, I there were certain things I wanted in a whip I wanted you know it to be flexible I wanted it to spray all the coatings that I sprayed I wanted it to be flexible at the gun and where it attaches to the hose itself and um and so i didn't want any type of wire banding on it typically what you're seeing this wire banding um from other major manufacturers of hose whips that come with your sprayers they always have this banding on the end that on the ends of the the whip and that adds a lot of stiffness to the whip it doesn't make it very flexible at the wrist and at the gun i wanted to eliminate that banding the trade-off is you um, sacrifice some durability with the whip itself you know at the crimping point right there but this is about about functionality and having this thing you know maneuverable and um, 
and creating a lot less fatigue on your wrist while you're spraying, especially when you're spraying day in and day out. So our gun whips, you'll see the three foot and the five foot don't have any type of wire banding on the end. So that gives you significant, significantly more um, flexibility with the whip. You're gonna see other major manufacturers of whips themselves. You know, they're, the hose itself is the same hose that comes on the 50 foot hose. They just give you a short hose with banding on it and they consider that a whip, which it's not really a whip in itself. It doesn't add very much flexibility to your gun at all. So I'll talk about the sizing just a little bit. The three foot, we got three foot, once again, three foot whips and we got five foot whips. And that, that in itself probably is just going to be really your preference. How much you'll, how much whip do you want? How much length do you want? The longer you have a whip, you know, the more you're going to have to push, you know, a heavy viscous material through there. And it's going to start to limit the, um, the materials you can push through a whip. But once again, I've used three foots and five foots with elastomeric coatings and never had a problem with it. So to me, it's really going to come down to personal preference. I just personally like having a three foot whip. I use three foot whips on all my guns and uh, most of them are the exit flex style because they're just um, significantly softer, more flexible and cause a lot less wrist fatigue. So I'll talk a little bit about uh, the PSI rating of the hoses too. The exit flex whips, they're uh, wire braided hoses, so they're gonna handle more PSI. These hoses are rated at 5,000 PSI. The hose um, here is 5,075 PSI because it is a little bit larger uh, diameter outside in and inside diameter hose even though it's the same color and I'll talk about a little bit about why that is the lime green hoses right here these are rated and if you ever want to know you know the inside diameter hose or the outside diameter of the hose it should tell you right on the lay line of the hose so this is rated at 3500 psi and the inside diameter is 3 16 and you know, most airless sprayers are running, I think they're uh, maximum 3,300 PSI, somewhere right in that range. So these whips are gonna um, be able to run with you know, all the airless sprayers that you typically would have, but just make sure if you have an airless sprayer running more than you know, 3,500 PSI, uh, you don't want to run like this lime green hose, you'd wanna run an exit flex whip that is rated at 5,000 PSI. So just uh, pay attention to that. So once again, um, it's all, all the markings should be right on the lay line. This is gonna tell me inside diameter is 3.2 right here. It's gonna tell me my maximum working pressure is 5,000 PSI. So you definitely wanna abide by those um, regulations stamped on the hoses themselves. So now we have what I call, these are, these are gun whips and I call these um, hose whips right here. So we've, um, I, I created a 25 foot whip right here and I also created a 50 foot whip and we got them in both styles. And the reason why I created this 25 foot whip is we typically have a, a, a small airless sprayer set up just to do doors or just to do small cabinets um, or furniture projects or just simply small projects themselves. And having a 25 foot whip versus the standard 50 foot hose that comes with the airless sprayer, it takes up half as much paint to load up. And even the inside diameter of this hose is smaller than a 50 foot hose. So it even takes less paint to actually load up when it comes to loading up your sprayer. So you don't have to have like a half a gallon or three quarters of a gallon just to load up your sprayer. That's where this comes really in handy. Also for spraying cabinets, you don't need a whole lot of hose because your, your sprayer is typically right in the kitchen and you're spraying or you're very close to what you're doing or you're um, spraying just a simple small piece of furniture in a booth and the product itself is typically pretty expensive and you're not buying a lot of it at once and so these shorter hose whips are come in handy now this is a whip the hose itself is a whip in itself so you don't need to or you don't really want to add a whip to this hose for one reason is if you take this hose itself add say like an exit flex whip to that, you're stepping down from a small whip style inside diameter to even a smaller diameter and you could have some pressure related issues and spitting caused just by that. This you're gonna run from your pump 
to your gun and you do have to sacrifice a little bit of banding because I wanted my hoses themselves to not just be specifically a whip but but to be more like a hose but um, to act and function um, to a certain extent like a whip so I had banding put on both ends of the 25 foot hose and the 50 foot hose so this is a 50 foot hose with banding on it inside diameter and pressure once again uh 3 16 inside diameter 3500 psi is what it's rated at pressure wise so this is going to take up quite a bit less paint to load up than your standard 50 foot hose that comes with your airless sprayer and that's just really going to come into play you know if you're using expensive coatings or you don't have a lot of the product that you want to or you can load up so now we have the next uh, hose whip right here and this is our exit flex hose whip that is a little bit different than this hose in itself um, and because i didn't want banding on the gun ends right here because i wanted it to act and be flexible like a whip without the banding you do sacrifice a little bit of durability at the crimp point right here but once again i wanted it to act more like a a, a whip itself and i did want to have it 25 feet because i wanted to be able to use less product to load it up it has the banding it's really important to have banding at the pump side right here because that's where there's going to be you know maybe some pulling and tugging and stuff and you want that durability right there on the um the pump in so there is banding on the pump in this hose once again is rated at 5000 psi it's actually 5070 psi and the inside diameter of this is actually 4.8 which is a little bit different than uh, this hose in itself. This one right here is 3.2. So you can actually handle a little bit heavier coatings with this than you can with just the whip itself. But once again, I've, asked, I've had people ask me, can I put a whip on the end of my hose whips themselves? You do not want to do that. I've done a bunch of testing with it and I've used it myself with a bunch of coatings. It worked, but with some coatings, we were having pressure related issues and spitting. So the gun would spit quite often when we attached a whip because I wanted to have this hose and then have an exit flex whip attached to this right here so I can have it even more flexible and that kind of caused some pressure related issues. So if you're running this hose, do not run a whip you know on the end of that hose all right i'm going to try to summarize this all i know is a lot of information about hose whips and gun whips so i'll try to just give you the short brief version of what hose whip you should choose so if you're spraying heavy coatings like elastomeric coatings and pretty uh, viscous coatings the cloth braided hose right here larger inside diameter a little bit less flexible this is a great hose whip for you to choose if you want a hose whip that's uh, significantly softer more flexible Flexible, going to cause a lot less gun fatigue and you're spraying light or you're spraying lighter materials the exit flex whip is on um, the the whip for you the exit flex once again is wire braided and this is a cloth braided hose so there's some tips and tricks or some information about hose whips if you've got a favorite hose whip that you use or if you got any information about hose whips you want to share just put it down in the comment section below we would love to hear what you have to say if you've got anything from this video about whips just um, give us a thumbs up it really encourages us to continue making these videos and um, wow like we always say we'll see you next time right here at Big Life TV.